A man in the middle, my TM, attack is a type of cybersecurity attack where an attacker intercepts and potentially alters the communication between two parties who believe they are directly communicating with each other. In this attack, the attacker secretly positions themselves between the two legitimate parties and can monitor, capture, and manipulate the traffic flowing between them. Here's a simplified description of how a man in the middle attack works. Initial setup. The attacker establishes a position between the legitimate sender, Alice, and receiver, Bob. This can be done by exploiting vulnerabilities in the network infrastructure, compromising a router, or by creating a fake access point. Intercepting communication. When Alice sends a message to Bob, the attacker intercepts the communication without either Alice or Bob knowing. The attacker can then monitor and analyze the data being exchanged. Relayer alteration. The attacker has the ability to either passively eavesdrop on the communication or actively manipulate the data. In some cases, the attacker may relay the messages between Alice and Bob without making any changes, giving the appearance of a normal communication. However, the attacker can also modify the content of the messages, insert malicious code or commands, or even impersonate one of the legitimate parties. Bypassing encryption. If Alice and Bob are using encryption protocols such as SSL, TLS, the attacker may try to bypass or break the encryption to gain access to the plaintext data. Stealthy presence. The attacker attempts to remain undetected throughout the attack to avoid raising suspicion from either Alice or Bob. Man-in-the-middle attacks can be launched on various types of networks, including public Wi-Fi hotspots, wired networks, and even cellular networks. These attacks can compromise the confidentiality, integrity, and authenticity of the communication, potentially leading to data theft, unauthorized access, or the injection of malicious payloads. To mitigate the risk of man-in-the-middle attacks, it is important to use secure and encrypted communication channels, such as HTTPS for web browsing, SSH for secure shell access, and VPNs, virtual private networks, for creating secure connections over public networks. Additionally, staying vigilant about network security, regularly updating software and devices, and using strong, unique passwords can help protect against such attacks.